welcome to the Body VR, an immersive tour through the human body. We are currently on the outside of the macrophage, within an infected tissue, looking at its surface. A typical cell membrane structure. There are thousands of receptor proteins on the surface of the cell. Some of these proteins are tasked with transferring information and others with transferring cargo. Water and oxygen pass freely through the cell's membrane. Larger molecules, like glucose, enter through small pumps or channels. Large objects, like viruses, require recognition or keys to gain access thus preventing unauthorized entrance. Fortunately, I have a counterfeit key that's identical to a real one. We are now entering the cell. Hello, and welcome to The Body VR, an immersive tour through the human body. The journey begins here, inside a blood vessel, carrying blood from the heart. Let's take a closer look. A macrophage has pulled us in, and we are submerged in the cytoplasm, a gel made mostly of water. The cytoskeleton is made up of a network of adjustable strands that gives the cell its structure. There are three different types of strands that make up the cytoskeleton. Microfilaments are the thinnest strand measuring only seven nanometers in diameter. Wow. 
Intermediate filaments are made of the protein actin and have a diameter of 10 nanometers. <laughs> Lastly, microtubules have a diameter of 24 nanometers, which is wide enough to be used for transport. type of protein called Kinzin motor protein has the ability to prolong microtubule. It latches onto larger structures and transports them around the cell. Energy is available in the cytoplasm in the form of ATP molecules. ATP binds with Kinzin and propels it forward. With each step the Kinzin takes it binds with an ATP molecule and releases an ADP molecule. In real time, Kinzin walks up 100 steps per second. The kinesin protein is heading straight for the cell's nucleus. Let's tag along for a ride.